We are on our way to the Twin Cities Auto Show today to uh, look at some vehicles. We have nothing else to do, so we figured we're just going to head right to the auto show. And uh, the road trip should be fun. Hopefully get some updates here as we keep on moving. See what the gas mileage is of this beast. And uh, make our way to the auto show. Hopefully the roads aren't too bad. Just pulling onto the highway here. It amazes me how powerful this car actually is in terms of getting onto the highway. I mean, it's, it's incredible how fast this car is. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's insane. And uh, now we're just on our way out to the show. Just gonna set the cruise. Got a BMW in front of us here. And uh, we're just gonna move. But boy, oh boy, you guys looking for an E550 you want the, that 4.6 or 4.7 liter twin turbo. Holy smokes. Talk about fast. I can't imagine anything being faster than this. But yeah, so far, so good. It's a pretty sweet ride. And uh, right now, we're actually getting. 23.7 miles a gallon, so not as good as a Genesis, uh, but this is also all-wheel drive instead of rear-wheel drive, so I can see why that is uh, happening, but we are going to put it back into comfort mode for the suspension since we're cruising on 94, and uh, see what we get for mileage now, but just the pure, the pure low-end torque of this 5.5 liter is insane and a lot of cars of today don't even have that low end torque you know because most everything is turbocharged or supercharged supercharger of course better than turbocharger but yeah just just crazy how fun this car is to drive although it would be nice to have some adaptive cruise control and it would be nice to have uh uh, well, adaptive cruise control, I guess, basically. That's about the only thing this car is missing. So, otherwise, it's, uh, it's a sweet ride. Got this damn traffic. Wanted to take 53 to 94 all the way, but I figured we'd do a little bit of a shortcut. There goes a guy with a boat. It's so fun. Just instantaneous torque with this engine compared to the Genesis. I'll do a comparison video and uh, uh, eventually and kind of compare what the pros and cons were of both cars. Got a beautiful Genesis GV70 there and it's a loaded trim. That is a sweet looking SUV. Holy smokes. We'll see one of those at the auto show today. Very cool. Genesis has come a long way with their uh, with their car design over the past few years. Owned by Hyundai and Kia. Yeah, that is a good looking car. Nice swooping hood and roof design. Pretty gray color. There's the E-Class of the electric. Oh, it's an EQE AMG. So right there, that's a brand new car. You're looking at $130,000 for that EQE AMG electric car. Wow. It's a good looking car. If I do say so myself, I wouldn't pay that much for it. It's an E-Class though. That's what we got here. Wow, very cool. Look at that instant torque, holy crap. Wow, that guy's got some money right there. 130 grand brand new. Wow. Yeah, he can have, that guy's not, uh, that's not saving the environment buying one of those cars though. That's showing off and saying, fuck you, I have a million dollars to spend on my EQE AMG. Jesus. Wow. 
Wow, and he's turning off. He's driving. That thing weighs like as much as my truck, six, seven thousand pounds, I think. It's insane. Yeah, you're not saving the environment with an EQE. I'll tell you that. See you later, EQE. Stay in the second lane from right. Well, we just came from the auto show. We uh, tested out the Grand Cherokee L with the 3.6 liter and the Grand Wagoneer Series 3 with the uh, 6.4 liter Hemi V8. And uh, we liked both vehicles. A good, good vehicle for Alexa uh, would be that Grand Cherokee L. It was very luxurious. All the features in this Mercedes in 2011 were basically standard and more in that Grand Cherokee L. And uh, that was pretty sweet. And the Hemi in the six, the 6.4 Hemi in that Grand Wagoneer was unbelievable. But the Grand Cherokee L was a lot like the Durango, except it was just way more luxurious than the Durango with all its features, which was pretty cool. And I was surprised that move they the didn't. Right. In one mile. Oh, I can't move to the right. I was surprised that Mercedes, oh, there's a Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealer. We may have to stop in. Actually, we're gonna do that right now. You wanna stop in there, Alexa? Yeah, yeah. we'll do Jeep. Yeah. Oh, Jeep, brand new Jeep yes. dealer. We're gonna just stop in actually and take a look. Please keep right. Oh, on to we're US going. Eight east. We're going the wrong way, a little nipper. We will join back when we get to the Jeep dealer. We arrived at the Jeep dealer and now we're just gonna take a look around. I like that charger. We're just gonna take a look around at these Jeeps. You can kind of tell which ones are the nicer ones and which ones are the shittier ones, just by the rims and whatnot. But we're gonna take a look at this blue one right here. Beautiful. It's a regular Grand Cherokee. That looks pretty cool. Here's one right here, Grand Cherokee Limited. 56 grand, pretty basic. A lot, this is a lot of cars here, holy. We're gonna join back when we find a good one. Well, we're taking the scenic route back. We're on Highway 8 going past Taylor's Falls and uh, St. Croix Falls. And there is the mighty St. Louis that flows into the Mississippi. Uh, Interstate Park is half a mile on the right. I don't know if we're going to stop or not, but we stopped at that Jeep dealer, found some cool Jeeps, but they were actually all brand new, so we're not paying $70,000 for a brand new Jeep, so uh, we're going to just keep looking for the used ones, but a pretty trip. Very scenic. April 2nd today, and we got all the snow here still. It's crazy. That auto show was really cool, but I was very disappointed that we couldn't see the Mercedes or the BMW, uh, anything like that. So I was kind of bummed out by that. Any of the luxury, German luxury cars, Audi wasn't there. I guess they're too good for us. But uh, we got to see some, uh, we saw an S580 sedan, but we could not go in the S580 sedan. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, otherwise, it was a pretty good experience. Stellantis was awesome, test driving their vehicles. Um, there was a Charger and a Challenger Scat along with a Durango there. And uh, we didn't test drive any of those, but we test drove that Grand Wagoneer with a 6.4 and the Grand Cherokee L. And uh, the Grand Cherokee L was a pretty sweet ride. So we're gonna do some more shopping around here for cars and uh, see what we find out. But right now we're just on the way back. Got a really slow fucking camper in front of us here. And uh, hopefully we can pass him or when I have to get gas, gotta put in premium. Uh, that we can kind of get away from this dude. Cause he's slowing our vibe down today. And we don't need that. I would say it's been a fun road trip with the Mercedes, although we haven't really been able to break it free or uh, get away from people because we've always had some folks in front of us here and that kind of sucks, but we're just looking for our local quick trip. And it should be on the other side of the bridge, but how pretty here. It's 
Very beautiful. There's some people looking out over the river right there. Wow, very, very cool. Now we're just looking for the local quick trip. And now we got two lanes, so I think we're gonna be able to pass some people here. Ah, only in Wisconsin. That's quite the rig. Wow. making it back from the auto show we uh roads are wet today felt bad for the poor car we averaged 25.2 miles of the gallon right there averaging 55 miles an hour 220 miles round trip not four hours and two minutes the car was on in total so we actually made pretty good time um it's about two hours there two hours back with a few fill-ups and uh yeah so we're now going to take Alexa's car to the auto shop, but the uh, Grand Cherokee L, I'll be adding to this video here with the Grand Cherokee L as well, online. So, you know, I have to say this about the, the vehicles at the auto show, at the Twin Cities Auto Show, I was really disappointed. I mean, you guys know I have the Mercedes that I grabbed the Ram here tonight, but I'm just very disappointed that there wasn't any Genesis vehicles there, or there wasn't oh, any Genesis vehicles that we could get into, any Mercedes vehicles that we could get into, a BMW or an Audi product there. There wasn't anything there. So Stellantis, I have to say, you know, I invest in some stock with them, but I have to say I'm impressed with Stellantis's offering. Their offering was awesome there. I mean, they had pretty much all of the lineup, you know, whether it was the base models or the top trims of everything from Stellantis that they offered. No Chrysler 300, which I was bummed out. But um, otherwise, the, all the Jeep products were there. The Durango was there. Um, Dodge was there, of course. Uh, the new Hornet was there. I was, I was very impressed with Stellantis' offering. Um, with that being said, I wish that there was, you know, Alpha was even there. Maserati, they didn't have. But I, I have to say, I wish that there was a BMW product there or, or a Mercedes, especially Mercedes. I wanted to see the new E-Class. I didn't get to see the new E-Class. I was bummed out about that. So I was a little surprised that there wasn't as many products there um, that, that basically was advertised. But um, with that being said, we test drove the Polestar 2 electric car, and uh, I, I was impressed with it. It was okay. It was pretty fast, but I don't know. I just, what stole the show for me was that 6.4 liter Hemi in the Grand Wagoneer, and that how nice that Grand Cherokee L was. And uh, I, I seriously think for her next vehicle to get rid of that journey and to get her into a Grand Cherokee L. Um, I would love to find one with the Hemi with the 5.7 liter, although those are just tough to come by now. Um, a 4 by e may be an option for her, but you know, in 2019 when Ram came out with this new truck, this was the start of Stellantis's basically ownership of all the classes of vehicles that they have produced. And uh, I do have to say, I mean, talk about impressive. And it's a damn shame that Jeep got rid of that SRT, but that's the way of the road for Stellantis. And they're making cars for, you know, 
women like her. Uh, what do women want? They want big, huge vehicles. And she loved that Grand Wagoneer and she loved that Grand Cherokee L. And uh, both the driving dynamics were good. Uh, that, that Grand Wagoneer I thought was excellent. Um, going over bumps and stuff. Oh, shit. It's based on this Ram architecture, but it was so smooth. I mean, it was so much more smooth than this truck. But uh, I do have to say I was impressed with that. That was a Grand Wagoneer Series 3. Uh, we don't need anything that big, so we're not going to essentially get a vehicle like that. But the Grand Cherokee or the Grand Cherokee L is right up our alley. Um, you know, I have a fast car. I've got a truck to tow stuff. I've got horsepower. I'm not looking to... Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, that Hemi just roars. I'm not looking to, you know, get something. Although, I would like the Hemi just for the reliability. And we're really going to search hard for one of those. Um, I, we're not, you know, she's not a speed demon. She, she doesn't know how to handle vehicles when they go fast. So, she's okay with getting the Pentastar V6. Although, for me... I would like to find one with the Hemi V8 because I've had three Hemis. We've got the Hemi and the Durango. And uh, for whatever reason, she doesn't want the Durango. Um, and that's her choice. But I i mean, I do have to say that Grand Cherokee all was, was like a Durango, except it was just way more luxurious inside. And uh, it, it, was, it was great. I just, I can't say enough about we're gonna close that. I just can't say enough about that uh, Wagoneer or that Grand Cherokee L. Um, it was comfortable. The second row was comfortable. Uh, everything about it was was completely worth the money. I do have to say. And uh, we're gonna be slowly kind of searching for one here within the next year or two um, when that journey kind of bites the dust. But. I mean, overall, I thought the auto show was good. I thought it was fun. You know, it was fun to take the Mercedes out. I do have to give it a very thorough wash tomorrow, but it was fun to take the Mercedes out and kind of uh, let it rip a little bit and uh, uh, get some driving in with that vehicle there. Um, it, it would be really cool to get myself into a Charger at some point or some sort of a convertible. Um, and I, I did want to sit in the Camaro SS, although I couldn't because it was too busy. So I I do have to say, though, Stellantis stole the show out of the whole performance, cars, everything there. Stellantis stole the show. I was thoroughly impressed with that. I mean, I, I've wanted to sit in a Polestar. I've wanted to drive it. It, it was It was cool. It was cool. I mean, there's there's no getting around that. But, I mean, it, it just... Ah, it, it didn't do it for me. It didn't do it for me. If, uh, you know, once, once Dodge starts putting out some electric vehicles, that'll do it for me. But, for right now, I mean, it was just a fun time. Great experience with Stellantis. Um, they're definitely on the right track here for... You know success in the future so my thoughts on the show uh was worthwhile to go out there and uh was worthwhile to test drive the cars so pretty happy about it